this. Listen, I'm so modest, I can admit my, I can admit my own fault. And my only fault is I don't realize how great I really am. <laughs> Just to recreate the ambience About the murder the stage Call an ambulance Moment of silence My condolences Gen Y, Gen X, Millennials Generation Me, Generation Internet You know who you are You've been crushed, hit hard by this economy So if you're dealing with college debt I mean, maybe you're even trying to move out of your parents' house or start a new business. Look, the only way you're going to be able to do that is to be able to produce and to get people to pay you what you're worth. I'm fighting for your generation. I'm not counting you out. I believe in you. We're here to give young hustlers the advice and tools they need to succeed in the 21st century. Hey, well, <laughs> what's the name of the show? This is Young Hustlers, G. Dang, man. man. Welcome to Young Hustlers, where every Thursday... What's the name of the show? Young Hustlers. I got so much going on, I don't know what day it is, where I'm at, where am I right now? You are in Miami Beach. This is Young Hustlers. It is 1 p.m. on Thursdays. Where are you? Which means that we're you? bringing you solutions. And what is to, this show about? Dude, this show is about taking millennials, Gen Y, 18 to 32 years old, and giving you tips. And what's your name? My name's at Jared Glant, man. You gonna oh. let me finish? <laughs> What's my name? At Grant Cardone. Okay. All right. Hey, folks, welcome. Grant Cardone and Jared Glant here. This is Young Hustlers. It's 1 p.m. Yeah, said that. It's Thursday. I said that. It's Miami Beach. I've been there. I said and that. And we come to you every week to talk about your business. Business. Get your money right. What's hanging you up? What's holding you up? What's what's hanging up 80 million? Why do 40 million out of a class of 80 million not have the job they want. Do you have want. something you want to tell everybody? I feel like you've got something, like we just did something really good that you want to tell people about. Yeah, you just came out of the closet. Ah, oh, come on, man. Why are you playing like that? Sandy's you a freaking got, cover. Got, got Sandy and the little got doggies. A, Sandy and the dog are just covers. He's got He's got a big announcement. What is it? What do you mean? We just. I don't know what you're talking about. We, do, we, we did it in the meeting. Where you're going to be doing with things. Oh, something. yeah, dude. Oh, this yeah. It's good. It's good. Go ahead. Go ahead. You sure. can tell everybody. We, uh, I tell you what, I tell you what, before we tell everybody the, the number here, look, what you're going to want to talk, we're talking about nurturing leads today. This is critical. This is like the, one of the most critical pieces of sales because, uh, you know, very few, For, very to few. entrepreneurship, very, this is not really about sales. This is about, I mean, sure. it's always associated with sales. This is about making your dreams come true. Okay. Mm. If you can't follow up. If you can't follow up, man, you are not going to get the girl you want, the guy you want. The job you want. The job you want. The life you want. The the income you want. Nothing, dude. Nothing's going to happen if you can't nurture the lead, the opportunity, the dream. It's all the same thing. I'm telling you, it's not about selling. It's about realizing what you want in your life. And the reason we're doing this show. The reason. The reason is because going back through, this was one of the most popular topics that we've ever discussed mm. on this show. And so, I picked it the first time. I told yeah, you it was going to be did, popular. You did, you did. So we're going to dig in deep to it. Uh, and, I'm, it and we're going to be sharing some schisms with you that are so deep, so real, okay? It's going to be blown. like, it's gonna be like, oh my God, I'm going to share one piece of data with you that I've been telling people for years. I never had, I actually did, I should have taken the time to go substantiate this. It was an idea, it was a concept. You know the first time you told me this. Why are you pointing at me, man? That's a rude thing. That's that's how far, you need to go back back and watch our manners. So you know, you, the, the first time <laughs> I heard you I heard you talk about this was in LA when you talked about that guy that you yeah. followed up with 15 times yeah. in three days. Yeah, and and and, and also I, I was sharing this thing and then a, a study just came out. And when I shared this with you, it's an MIT study, and, and I've been saying it for years. The, the, the value of a certain strategy and follow-up, okay? We know this is a problem for everybody. We, we, we see it. We hear it. We hear it on our YouTube channel. We look at all our comments. Okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good and bad. Good, bad, the ugly, the indifferent. We love to hear your comments on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel and make sure you comment at the end of the show so we can actually respond to you. 
The number here is 305-865-8668, 305-865-8668. Guys, we got to do something on this glare on the wall because I cannot see anything on that wall. Can you see it? It says Jordan, I think. Okay. All right, so we're talking about nurturing. He's ta- He's trying to get me to tell you that I got Steve. I'm getting ready to do a, 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 a tour. Tour. A tour. A tour. With the great one, the great Steve Harvey. This is going to be huge. It's, uh, it's- I'm the token white guy. Yeah, you are. I am. I'm the you token are. white guy, okay? And, and me and Steve Harvey are going to go pounce. We're going to pounce around America uh, doing what's called the success tour with Steve Harvey. Mm. We're going to do New Orleans, Atlanta, Detroit, Toronto, Ontario, Ontario, Ontario yeah, Vancouver, yeah. Chicago. Uh, something else, something else there, but I'm missing it. New We're York. coming to a city near you. It's gonna and be look, big. It's gonna if be you big. don't know who I am and who Steve is, Steve's the black guy. I'm the white guy, in case you didn't know. Okay, let's get into the show, brother. Let's yeah. get into the show. Yeah. So, uh, we again, we wanted to dig a bit deeper into this whole follow-up, follow-through, cultivating lead idea. Um, Navigating your career. before. But I, would you, what is follow-up? Like, like when, when people say, I hear a lot about follow-up, sometimes they, they, they don't even really truly understand what it is. And uh, in in the purpose of it, so so the the, the follow up before that- we get into the show though, <laughs> can I just tell you that there's something came out today I saw and I got to share this okay because your your people are freaked okay I got to tell you 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 got a generation of people you were born with it came out today 68 percent of millennials said they would sacrifice a friendship with a colleague if it meant getting a promotion cutthroat would you damn right I would so would I I love these people I love you people. Freaking step on a friend. <laughs> Kill a neighbor. Thanks for the boost. Okay? <laughs> Thank you for helping me up there. Okay? You set me up good. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm on TV out there, man. Look at that. Oh, man, that's cool. Okay? <laughs> okay, so so why would you have to step on a friend? Because you don't have a plan, man. These are shortcuts, folks. Okay? And I know. Look, I've been there. I've taken them. We've all taken the shortcuts. Sure. You need a strategy. Okay? You got to have the heart. You got to have the heart. You got, you got, and, and you, but it's not enough just to have the heart, man. You, you, you're going to, it's, it's going to get knocked out of you. Then you got to have the persistence and then you're going to have to at some point have a strategy. And that's why we're talking to you about Do you want me to tell them about f- nurturing the leads. Nurturing follow up. Go ahead. Tell me, tell me, tell me, follow tell up me. Tell me. is defined by the dictionary mm. as something that continues or completes a process or activity. Completes a process or activity. So the purpose of process. The follow up is not the call then. The, the purpose of prospecting is to achieve a so, desired end result. It's to get a deal. It's to get something, whether it's a deal or a girl or whatever. You That's keep, a deal? Everything's a deal in life. Deal. Come on, man. So when, look, you get, when you get that warmth, it's a deal. Yeah. <laughs> You're crazy. You want to go deep? Dude, we're gonna di- we're gonna dig into this now. We're gonna uh, dig into this seriously, okay? I'm gonna give you a number, okay? I'm gonna give you a number. Most of the people that you're waiting on are talking to on B to B, B to C. You're not closing them. A you're not Z. selling them. We don't hear, okay? There's a stat that says 13 percent of the salespeople in an organization sell 87 percent of the products. That means most of us are not selling somebody. You got to know how to nurture the lead, how to keep it interested, and how to bring it to a close. Stay with this, young hustlers. We want to help you. Add your glance with your young hustle. I'm sick of hiring people that are uninspired. I'm done with people that make more excuses than they can make money. I'm over the book smart and the people stupid. I'll throw up again if I hear about what you did rather than what you can do. This isn't a contest, this isn't a challenge. This is the way I hire people. My name's Grant Cardone. Look, I'm in a hurry to get to the next level. I'm looking for people that can get the job done. And I have two rules. One, find great people. Number two, never tolerate average. I'm looking for the great people, the people that will do whatever it takes, and the people that refuse to settle. Trust me, if you got any little bitch in you, I'll find out. This is whatever it takes. Secrets to unlimited achievement and wealth. 
The Wealth Creation Kit is the ultimate program that shows you exactly how to take massive action in your life so that you can have the success that you want and deserve. Grant Cardone, New York Times best-selling author, entrepreneur, and international sales expert, provides the tools needed to shift your attitude into non-stop positive action to help you find financial freedom. This kit includes three programs, a $4,000 value with over 10 hours of dynamic content delivered by Grant Cardone himself. Learn to dominate your market, follow the rules of success, and apply the 10x rule to every aspect of your life. Order yours at grantcardone.com forward slash wealth or call 800-368-5771. That's 800-368-5771. Wait and see what I do this year. It's going to be freaking over the top crazy, okay? Show me some love. Come on now. I want to talk to you today about success. What you're learning here will go with you for the rest of your life. You're getting me excited right now. If you're average, you'll hate me. Being able to live where you want requires that you produce even when you don't want to. Every day they're freaking out there. Every day I'm hustling. Saying, hey man, I want to put my hustle on. In the hustle country of the planet, America, the great USA. Hey, Grant Cardone here, New York Times bestselling author and your friend in sales and in business. That's right, in business. So you want to scream about it? You want to bitch, complain? Go ahead. This is the worst job market in the history of the United States of America. The truth is, get back to promise and hope followed up with work. Completely committed, completely dedicated. It's not work, it's a passion. Turn that camera on. Is it loaded? Do you have battery in it? Turn it on and follow me. It's a Wi-Fi hotspot. Mmm. What does mm. that mean, man? Okay. We, could, we could Skype. We could do whatever you want. All right. I can do a video here, man. Yeah. Hey, come on, man. It's a very ominous little wow, wow, wow. Kiss metrics. Seventy-three percent of everyone that you call on are not sales ready. 50% are not ready to buy when you call on them. 79% of all leads that you call on in business to business will never convert to a deal. You want some hard, cruel realities? 65% of all companies in America don't nurture leads, which means they don't follow up. 13% of sales reps bring 87% of all the mm -hmm. revenue. And then they go off into some personality traits of salespeople, which I, I, I don't know what any of this means. Yeah, well, this is Young hear, Hustlers. You, you, well, I'm just saying you this, hear, you this is these? Young Hustlers, and the reason why we do this show yeah. is to tackle issues like this for the 18 to 32 crowd. I ain't tackling nothing, man. We're tackling the big stuff. Why do you say we tackling, man? Because we're We're, we're, we're hitting, trying to help people. We're, why are you talking? No, we're hitting the, these subjects and these topics head on. Oh, my God, man. Yeah. Okay. That's what we're doing here. That's why, why, is, why are you not doing your follow-up? Okay? What is it? Why are you busting in here? Dang. Okay. Why are you not doing your follow up? Do you even know why? Do you know what's turning you off? Were your expectations incorrect when you started this? Look, you got to get your head wrapped around this idea. You went and called on somebody. A phone call came in. An email hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. You call them once or twice. Do you even know the strategies, the calls, the persistence? How many calls can you make? How many texts? How much freaking, how much, like our card on university? Yeah. There are, 1,100 videos sitting there giving you ideas. CardoneUniversity.com. Mm -hmm. It's a sales university. It's for people that don't know what to say, don't know what to say on the second call, the third call, the fifth call. Do you know that most calls are made? What number do you think? Most deals? Most deals are made after what call? Fifth to twelfth. Keep this in mind, okay? 73% of the people you're talking to are not sales ready when you're talking to them. They called... They emailed you or they came and visited your company and were not sales ready. No matter, you, you could have Tom Hopkins, Brian Tracy, Grant Cardone, Jeff Gittermer. I talked to all those cats this week. You could have some Jerry Glant, okay? I'm dropping names. Can you pick those up? Sorry, sorry. Let me grab those names. 
You could have all that shit behind you, and still the customer was not sales ready. You would not get the deal. 50% of the people that you're talking to are not ready to buy when you meet them. You can convert mm-hmm. those people. Those are easier. 79% of the leads never convert into a deal. So you companies out there saying, we got a thousand freaking hits on our website. And, and people are telling you got a low conversion rate. Look, 79% of the people hit your website are never going to convert to that product. Yep. Okay? You need to understand this so you don't go into life and into business and all of a sudden get disappointed. Well, expectations are everything. Like yeah. expectation with prospecting, expectation with follow-up, expectation with uh, with with what's going to happen going into a transaction. If you have the incorrect uh, expect, estimation of effort ex- and expectations of what should happen, then you're gonna you're you're gonna be encountered with a lot of negativity, a lot of rejection, and that's gonna is. And that being to, said, that being said, you got a little trick. You got a little you got a little bridge to walk here, which means you have to have correct estimation of effort, <gasps> expectations, but you got to think every time you go into a deal that you're gonna get a deal. Mm-hmm. This is a very very tricky space to be in. Okay. It is. That is, I need to go in with, you know, correct estimation. Understand, hey, look, there are 79% of these people might not even buy from me, okay? Might not ever buy, ever. But I got to go into every transaction thinking, I'm closing this deal. This is a trick. This is a mind trick you have to play with yourself. Let's take, uh, how about Robert from uh, Pennsylvania? Robert from PA. Welcome to Young Hustlers. Robert Wiseman. Wiseman. Robert Wiseman. What are you doing? Calling to promote your freaking podcast no, so you I get to that. new and noteworthy Why this week on that? iTunes? Why me? Why do you think I'm why does it always gotta be like that? I'm some grease ball, man. I, I fly under I, I fly straight. Dude, I didn't Something say you were a grease ball. I don't even know why you gotta well, bring that why you gotta bring that up. Why you gotta degrade yourself like that, man? I'm all, well because you're thinking I'm calling up for some reason to benefit myself. When in fact I, I take the time and tune into the young hustlers every week, man. What so you got I in your mouth, man? What you got in your mouth? Take those gumballs out of your mouth. I can't even hear I what don't you're have saying. Nothing in my mouth. <laughs> this is Robert Wiseman, folks. Uh, if you don't know him, you, you can go guy. to you can go to uh, on Twitter. His handle is your Hyundai guy. Unfortunately, yes. That's another okay. mistake, guys. Don't do that. Dude, one. why don't you why don't you back out of that mistake? I mean, you only got like yeah. seven hundred followers. Dude, you're a mistake. You're right. You're more followers. Uh, Talk to me, Robert. Talk to me. Question, Just, dude, wait, 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 hey, let me ask so you seriously, because I really respect yeah. Robert. Okay, look, I've said so many nice things about you, Wiseman. Well, okay. yeah, that's what I was going to get into. Is about did you or did you not not? And there's a point to this. You said that um a big part of the re- you know you you've given me public credit on my uh follow up unbelievable this cat has some sick skills for following up that's not okay, an endorsement that's, that's not a complete know. endorsement do not try to use it on your ebook yeah, i got <laughs> yeah, you're a kid <laughs> he's on fire people so, okay uh, yeah so, okay so did I see really a stat that said that you that you wrote today that said eight percent of salespeople don't follow up? Eight uh, percent. Did you see it? Me that, that piece I posted on Facebook. Yeah, no, is that four, what you? Is that the? I don't have it right in front of me. No, right it's now, it's. I think number? it's forty eight. Give, give me give me those numbers. I think it's forty eight. Those numbers. I something that said eight percent. Okay, so let's say. Well, first off, Grant, if that's eight for, if it really is eight percent, it's forty eight. Then I'm going to forty eight percent of salespeople it, never no, follow no, up. Yeah, forty eight percent of salespeople never follow up. Can you see your screen right now? Are you watching this on a computer? Stat? No, I'm not there right now. Oh, I can see the show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because uh, you're you're the audio podcast, right? Yeah. You're not into video podcasts. Too much work. Uh, well, too much extra yeah, work. No. Trouble. We'll talk. Programming. We'll talk. Listen, investment. The inter- the, hey, whoa, whoa. The, uh, <laughs> Now here's the stats. Let me just let me give them to you. Let me give them, let me give you the stats, Robert, and then and then you can respond. Forty eight percent of salespeople never follow up with a prospect. Twenty five percent of salespeople make a second contact and stop. Twelve percent of salespeople make more than three contacts. Two percent of sales. Ten percent only. Ten percent of salespeople make more than three contacts. Oh my okay. God. You skip well, one, dude. Let's talk about the contact. Now and, and look, look, let's just assume I made all this stuff up. Okay, let's assume right, yeah. that. Well, well, no, I just thought that I thought that was very low, like. I thought that only I thought I really thought eight percent was only eight percent didn't follow up. I thought it was super low, and I was going to give you some credit that you must have had a lot to do with increasing that for the salespeople around the oh, world. That's so but nice, man. Oh, thank you, bro. But okay, so let's talk about the follow up. And you're saying like you automatically go into the part of it on demand, and we're talking about the, the phone calls and things like that. Well, let's talk now. I can play real deep here, but I, you know what I mean. But I don't know how. how, how this is only a thirty-minute show. 
Get to but, it. No, I'm just meaning with tactics. But let's talk about the... You're a guest, not a host. <laughs> ways to nurture, you know what I mean? The different ways for them to nurture these leads other than sitting outside of just the regular of pounding the phone. Uh, I mean, even, look, if this was a confessional right now, okay, and I was a priest, I'd be like, hurry the fuck up. Okay, I can't listen to any more of your bullshit, okay? Okay, you jerk off twice a day. What's the deal? What's the freaking no, point? We're talking, what? Where, what is the, you can't drop the F-bomb, man. I didn't F. Yes, what did I say? You did. You said. What? what? I, we're talking about follow-up. F you. It's follow-up, man. Yeah, so let's, let's, let's. Talk about Robert, let me you ask you a question. Robert, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Why do you think people don't follow up? Why don't they? Because they don't know how. Okay, good. We're going to come back. We're going to come because back. We're going to get some tips from Robert Wiseman. Okay, guy, the guy, I'm oh, telling you something. The guy's followed me up before. He is exceptional at his game. Stay with us. You're on Young Hustlers. We're telling you how you got to get your game going. This isn't just for salespeople. This is for any entrepreneur that wants to make a reality of a dream that you might have. Stay with us. This is Young Hustlers at Jared Glant. I ask you this. What would it be worth for you to learn everything there is to know about growing your business? Cardone University was created for entrepreneurs that want to 10x their business. It was created for you so you could have me available to you from any phone, any pad or tablet, or any computer. If you can imagine the business strategy or a business opportunity you need a solution to, I have the answers here. Fortune 500 companies around the world pay up to a half a million dollars for this same information that I want to provide to you now. Look, if you want to 10x your income, I want to help you. If you want to become a multimillionaire, I want to help you. If you want to become a billionaire, I want to help you. It's not enough to just want it. You need information. I want to be your personal business coach. You can have access to me 24-7 from any device. Sign up now and let's go get yours. Hey, welcome back to Young Hustlers. Let me go ahead and make my apologies, okay? I've been having a rough day today. Come into confessional. Look, look, I'm sorry for dropping the F-bomb. My child. I'm sorry. Confess, confess Robert, to I'm me. sorry. I, I, confess to me your transgressions. Yeah, I'm, I don't mind. I want to apologize to everyone out there. If you have any kids listening that that that, that I might have offended, if if you're uh, if you're sensitive, I'm sorry. I got passionate about this. I did say the f bomb uh, to all the people that follow me and, and 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 expect more from me. I'll never do it again until the next time. Okay, Robert. Uh, so Robert. Okay. So here, so here's the thing. Let me ask you what you think of this, Grant. Do okay. you feel that this is good for everybody? Is that poor follow up occasionally uh, better than or worse than consistent and you know what I mean, Cardone style uh, style follow up, but poor? No, no, no. Which okay, so so here's more? this Let's is the this is off because this is important. This is important. It's, uh, well, I'm going to answer your question right now. The, the 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 answer to the question is you need to have a plan from the beginning. It, it, you know, it, it's not it's not. Hey, well, I'm going to follow up half ass with this person and then really hard with this person. You actually have to have a plan laid but, out. But, we but were going to get to that. We're yeah, gonna, and we will. We will. It's all good. Dude. It's all good. But man. but Robert said it beforehand. He says, "Hey, man, people don't follow up because they don't know what to do." Sure. And that's why we're doing this. And I think you're right, Robert. I think people lack the creativity probably because they lack the commitment and they have the incorrect estimation of our expectations and incorrect estimation of effort. Just calling somebody every day does not make a for effective follow up. Yeah. Yeah. And like I got, I got a guy in my office, right? For instance, okay. There's a guy wants to job with me right now. Every day he posts a video on YouTube that he wants a job with me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because he heard me say that video was the way to contact me. Now I've seen, I don't know, 11 videos or something, dude, they're all good, but it ain't getting a job done, bro. 
You got to try a different yeah. tactic, okay? I mean, you, there, there's a reason why you want multiple weapons. Now, I'm going to exactly. give you, Robert, I'm going to ask you a question here because I, I, I respect you. What do you, what do you think the conversion rate when texting during the sales call? How much higher do you think that? I'm gonna tell. I'll, I'll give you a hint. It is higher yeah. that, that if Jared calls my company and I'm texting him, text. Yeah, let me finish, man. When I'm texting him during the phone call, what do you think the increase in conversion rate is on that? Just guess a number. Oh. Sixty to seventy. Yeah, it's a forty percent oh, higher conversion yeah. when texting during the sales call. Now I've been saying well, this for years. Oh yeah. yeah. During the call, whether you're selling B two B, whether you're talking to a girl on the phone, you're on the phone with her, texting her during that phone call means you would get laid forty percent more often. Okay, if you could figure out how to text. While you talk, okay? Same thing with a customer, same thing with follow-up, same thing with internet lead. You got an internet lead, you sell automobiles, Robert, because I know you did that, and you're texting that client content and data yeah. during that call. You have a 40%. And it works with any, with any, it doesn't matter what you're selling, it, it, it works, you know, or what kind of business you're building, that, it, that text is the way to go because, A, the, there's no spam, doesn't hit a spam filter, and everybody opens a text. And a matter of fact, I can tell when most people open a text. I can tell. Yeah. Dude, I love that, bro. Hey, like I love instantly. you, Robert Wise. Follow your Hyundai guy. He's going to change his Twitter handle sooner or later, so I don't yeah. know why you want to follow Robert him anyway. Go to robertwiseman.com. Go to robertwiseman.com because he's going to give up on his Twitter handle, and I don't blame him, okay? I hey, would. thanks for calling in, Brother Wiseman. Thanks, hey, hey, Robert, what is the name of your podcast? I know you've had a couple oh, thousand. The dealer, in- the dealer Playbook, and thank you, Grant, for being on there, man. You really uh, – yeah, the dealer playbook, and I talk on that show. Robert asked me a question in that show, why car salesmen hate their job. And we basically spend over an hour covering all the reasons why car salesmen hate selling cars, which is a shame. Well, hey, so I'm done with you, dude. Adios, okay? Have a good weekend if you ever get to another weekend. Love Cut him bro. off. Love Cut that freaking guy bro. off, okay? Love you, bro. Okay. Jordan from Atlanta. Jordan from Atlanta. Hello. Hello. Yes, guys, how you doing today? Good, What's my happening? friend. How you doing? How are you? I'm doing awesome. I'm doing awesome. Loving the show. You guys are making me laugh hard. <laughs> I love it. Um, so question for you. When you're following up with someone, how many times can you do it before it becomes annoying or inappropriate? They just get pissed off. And to give you an example, let's say you're asking for someone to come on to your show and they either respond with a yes or with a no or not responding at all. How many times before you should take the hint or not take the hint and keep going. If you came in and told me every day that my hair sucked, we all know it doesn't. <laughs> but if you came to me every day and said, dude, I hate your hair. I hate your hair every single day. Eventually I'm going to be like, dude, I get it. You don't like my hair. Change it. Change That's the a tune. terrible example. Though. I'm just saying. No, no, let's it's... use the example he gave. Okay. <laughs> he gave a good example. Let's say I'm calling. I've been trying to put, I've been trying to get, uh, what's what the I'm saying name? is you have to come with something different. I'm you trying have... to get Tim Ferriss on the show. Okay. Tim Ferriss wrote the, f- uh, the four hour uh, work week, four hour mm-hmm. work week. Okay. So we called him. He's like, Hey, I'm out of the country. I said, Lisa, call him He's back on vacation. Again. He's on vacation. So. I said, call him back again. And, and well, I just called him yesterday. I said, I don't care if you called him yesterday or not. Call him back again. Tell him we want him on the show. Granny's out of the country. I don't care. Show him interest again. But you can't do it the same way. So I think, Jordan, the, the way to answer your question is, it, you know, you got to get creative now, dude. You got to get extremely creative. Like maybe the first one's a phone call. Maybe the second one's a text. Maybe the third one's a personal visit. Maybe the fourth one is, Tim, Tim, hey, man, I know it doesn't work for you right now. I know you're just getting back out of the country. I'm going to be in Atlanta. I was flying in. I'd love to buy you lunch. See, see, now I'm not into follow-up. I'm not asking you to be on the show anymore. Hey, man, I heard you're a big golfer. Uh, I'm going to be in Vegas. Wondered if you're going to be flying in. I know you're traveling a bunch. If you're in Vegas, I'd like to uh, you know, do 18 holes with you. You got to get very, very creative for the follow-up not to feel like what Jared was trying to say, which was... Same thing every day. Hey, you're ugly, dude. Yeah. You know, you got bad hair. I mean, it, it, it's almost like that. Why are you calling me? Our, our group, our company here makes that mistake because I'm like, look, you keep calling these people until they're freaking... Until they hate us. I want people to call you. And we covered this in an earlier show. You call them 
until they call us and say, don't call me again. Now, And my people took that literally, and you even told me in the restroom. Yeah. You want to tell them what you said? Uh, about, about, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, about wow, uh, Grant. Uh, about is this is this about You're chiseling that freaking porcelain right out of the toilet? Is this about having more of a plan? And yeah, how, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so we basically said that you know the the last thing you want to do is 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 to burn your opportunity with somebody to where they're like, hey, I'm never going to do business with you. But you, you need to be willing to go all me. the way to the edge of burning that opportunity. So you have to have a more strategic approach where as as time goes on with no communication, with no contact back, you throttle back. You don't quit. But you throttle back. So maybe for the first 30 days, you hit him every every day. Something different every day. And and then I also got an email from someone. Actually, it was a, a request on YouTube after our last show. Okay. How soon should I follow up? And I'm like, look, you should be following up within the first 60 seconds. The moment you say the game is over for that cycle, you should be following up in the first 60 seconds. Now, I have said this for years with no facts to support it until an MIT study came out that said there's a 500, 500% increase in conversions if a response is done within 60 seconds of the cycle supposedly ending. If you do it the first business day, if you do follow up, remember 65% of all businesses don't nurture leads. They don't follow up. If you do it within the first business day, you have a 248% conversion rate. And the first vendor that follows up, me and you are going for the same business, there's almost a 40% better chance that I get the business than the second guy that calls. That's right out of if you're not first, you're last, by the way, okay? If you like to read. These are books. If you don't like to read, the thing to do is go to Cardone University and start getting this content so you can be... Look, look, being the hungry dog is one thing, okay? What's the hungry dog got going for it? Because you need this. T- to be a successful entrepreneur, you got to be a Rottweiler, okay? Or a okay? pit bull. Or a pit bull. You got to have the heart of the freaking Rottweiler. You got to have the teeth and the mouth. You got to have the legs, the stamina. And that freaky kind of click that just makes you a little crazy. Yeah, dude. And you got to have the strategy. You got to have strategy, okay? Or you could be this. You know, you could be this little dog, Jared's dog. <laughs> <laughs> look look at Jared's dog. And the, the, the real-life example was I'm, I'm in contact with Snapchat right now, and I've talked to them twice, and both on different platforms, and they turn me down each time. But you're right. Got to get creative. Look, when somebody says no. Ways. Yeah, like what have you tried so far? And then let's build him out a plan. Twitter and then email because I haven't found access to other ways to contact them that are useful. Okay, and who are you trying to talk to there? Uh, the founder of it, Evan Spiegel. Good, dude. I want you to send an e- I want you to send a piece of mail, handwritten, and I want the mail to say this: "I'm a young entrepreneur, and I need ten minutes with you for some for some advice." Okay. Got it. Then I want you to do some research on him, find out what his hobby is, and I want you to send him that gift. Got it. Okay, you got to come up. You need twelve strategies that are all completely different, different mechanisms. Like, what are the ways to follow up? A, phone, a text. A text, a text, man. If you could get the guy's cell number, you're freaking in, okay? If you're, you you got to be willing to ask for it. I mean, that would be the only thing that we ask for. I told my staff, take phone off of the CRM. Mm-hmm. I do not want telephone on the log. I don't want it in our CRM. I don't want email in there. What do I want? Text. Cell number. That's all I want you to ask for. Do not ask, what's the best number to follow you up on? Where, where should I email something? Email's done. It's going to go through a spam filter like Robert talked about. You want one thing. What is your cell number? Okay. Or you could you could call his office and you could say, uh, I uh, talk to his assistant and say, I saw something. I would like to text it to you and to him, this image I saw to surprise him. Dude, I don't care. You got to get creative. Email, calls, visits, mail, gifts, and friends. What I was going to say is if yeah, somebody sorry. says no to whatever you offer, you've got to come back with something different. They've said yeah. no already, you know, like, okay, like how can you reposition, repackage, or represent what you are, are asking for in a different way? Because the answer, if the answer was no before, what, what over email, how are you going to resell the product? You can't sell it over an email. Yeah, so Jordan, or- Jordan, sit down. I want you to map out, and I want you to send it to me. Okay, send it to us over here, and I'm going to actually critique it and give you some other ideas. Okay, send it to jared at grantcardone.com. 
and we'll yeah. actually sit down with it and, and work up. You give me a dozen, and I'll get you another dozen ideas, all right? Thank you, Grant. You're the man. Okay, thank you. Folks, we're talking about nurturing leads, okay? 25% of salespeople make a second contact and stop. One out of four people you compete with. One out of every four. 12% of salespeople make three contacts and they're done. 2% of all sales are made on the first contact. Only two out of 100. You understand? If you know the facts, 3% of salespeople, 3% of all sales are made on the second contact. 5% are made on the third contact. 10% are made after four contacts. 80% of all sales are made somewhere between the 7th and the 12th. If you text during the contact, you have a 40% better chance. If you call back the same day, you have a 50% better chance. So we're going over a lot of data and a lot of numbers here. And, you know, there's no way you'll, you'll retain half of the information we just covered. We've got this image. We'll send it out. We'll post it on Twitter after the show. But the point that we're trying to make is, is follow-up is extremely important. And it's not just a sales thing. And you got to have, you have to have a plan for it. You've got to have a plan that you follow the same way with every customer, with every uh, uh, situation or opportunity. If you have a, a duplicating sales presentation or something like that you've got yeah, to have or if something. you're trying to get a job like david david uh david uh is unemployed i think uh, i got a note here saying david's unemployed david hey grant jared how you doing today Good, jobless brother. d how you doing you man know, hey david let me just say are you unemployed no 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 i'm not employed oh i'm sorry full time i'm looking for a job right now that's my uh -huh. oh that's different you see you okay. added that he's unemployed okay he's all right <laughs> all right no and and you know I, i'm taking a page from your book grant um I, I don't have a job right now. I'm not collecting a paycheck at the moment. Oh, so you, so are, you unemployed. are unemployed. But no, his job is Getting a to job. find a job. I got it. I'm yeah, with yeah, you yeah. now. Now I'm tracking, dude. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Jobless so, dude. I, I, I'm a recent college graduate. I just got out of school. And I'm, I'm semi-local to you guys. I'm on the West Coast of Florida. I think you're on the East Coast. Okay. So, All right. So I'm, I'm going to give you an opportunity. I know. I'm Did you just call me a homosexual? Did I? Yeah. No. Okay. No. All right. No. I, okay. I, why, did, did you think I did? I thought you did, but go ahead, man. No. no. So so I'm going to give you an opportunity. You said I was on the left coast. I really <laughs> – no. Uh, I'm on the west coast of Florida. Okay. I'm close to you guys. I'm, I'm over in the Fort Myers, Naples area. Are we going to be bleeping that, too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so so here's the deal, guys. Uh, you know, I'm right now looking for employment, and I like your videos on, on YouTube. Uh, I noticed that a lot of this is all about follow-up. You know, growing up, I played a lot of sports. I play golf. I play baseball. They're going to tell you a lot about follow through in those sports, and really, what it comes down to is completion. And and I know that follow through, like you said, Grant, it starts 60 seconds after you hang up the phone call. You're asking for a direct line of contact. So I'm asking you. Here's my question: What can I do? I'm on the third round of interviews here. What can I do to give myself the best chance? Good. I'll give you. I'll give you. I'm going to drop a bomb on you, dog. Okay. I'll give you. I'm going to tell you the one thing. It'll get you the job. You're on a third round of interviews with the same company. Yep. And you know for sure you want to work for that company. With 100% certainty. All right. That's where I want to be. So what are you waiting for? I'm just waiting for 4 o'clock to roll around so we can get on this conference call. Dude, don't, go, don't wait for a conference call. I want you to get in your freaking car, hang up with me, get in your car, drive over there and say, Suit hey, up. Suit I, up first. I'm starting, dude. Suit up and You show know what? Up. I don't want to wait for the freaking conference call. I'm done. I'm done waiting. I'm starting right now. Tell you what, you know, it's what, one o'clock? One o'clock. I'm going to start now. You guys call me at four and we can talk about it. How about is that some silly shit? We're going to believe that? Yeah, that one too. Why, wow, man? Man, you're, you, just, you just. It's a free country, you man. You are in rare form today. David, you had the guts to do that, dude? I want you to drive over there today. Hey, guys, what's up? Where do you want me to start? We got a conference call with you at four. Yeah, I know. I'll be there. But I thought I'd go ahead and get started so we have something to talk about. Dude, you, got, like the, you yeah. got the guts to do that? You yeah, told me that you're 100% sure, so quit waiting on them to make a decision. You go make the decision. Look, they want yeah. somebody with hustle, bro. Show me the Rottweiler again. They want somebody with freaking teeth, a bite. I don't want somebody that's going to cause me trouble. I don't want a wacko or a neurotic. I want somebody that's going to be my guard dog. Mm. Somebody's going to be my hunter. Somebody says, hey, I'm going to take care of this business. 
Okay? Try that, dude. Roman from Russia, which is a big country. Big. That's a big country. Hi. Yes, sir. Talking about the show now. I did show up. Hey, Roman, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> dude, are you going to see Putin today? No. I... Putin? Do we have to bleep that? Putin? Yeah. What's up, man? Well, anyway, uh, good talking to you guys. I'm talking about polar. Uh, so when you wake up in the morning and you go to the toilet, you say, I'm Putin? <laughs> no, I don't like it, actually. No. Okay. Anyway, so talking about polar. I mean, can you even say Putin in that, in that or are they come arrest you? Let, let me take the bubble out of my mouth. No. <laughs> That's good. Let me take the bubble gum out of my yeah. mouth. Okay, go ahead, man. Go ahead. So, anyway, I've been in the car business uh, for, what, like 10 years? And uh, I love phones, you know. I just, I don't need the, the story. I don't need the, anything but the name and the number. And the first thing that uh, I think of is not the problems that I'm going to have if somebody, you know, hang up on me or they don't want me to call them again. Uh, if you really talk to somebody, like they are your friends already, and you talk to them uh, like you, treat them like you, you like to be treated, I'm telling you, man. I mean, everybody is going to talk to you. They hate the whole dealership. And uh, you, you can always find some topics to talk about. And, yeah. Uh, it's uh, never been a problem. So you're I'm saying sure. use a lot of creativity in the follow-up and don't quit Absolutely. and just assume that you can make Absolutely. people to like you. Absolutely. And uh, I, I just know that. They just don't know that yet. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And uh, another thing. Do you uh, guys finance cars in Russia? They finance cars? Yeah, 25%. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, and, and and does car do cars come with GPS and and uh yeah they, they would put a, a special thing on the Audi which is like the non non so GPS is included uh, yeah how about nuclear <laughs> nuclear weapons <laughs> if you uh, want to uh, show me the money man show me the money man hey you're hearing from Roman in Russia he's telling you quit Putin and start following up okay. <laughs> Hey, brother, I appreciate you following me. Appreciate Hit me up on Twitter. I'm going to get you some followers over here in America. Thanks okay? for the call, Roman. Okay. Appreciate you calling in, man. Mm-hmm. Folks, heart. That animal right there has heart. Somebody called me an animal the other day. I said, I ain't an animal. I'm a freaking monster. Nah. I eat animals, dog. <laughs> I find an animal, I'm like, ah, ah, because I want it. I know you guys want it. 80 million of you competing against one another, and you got another 75 million baby boomers that don't want to get out of the workforce because they're worried they don't have enough money. You need to get hungry and stay hungry all the time. We talk about it with our staff all Mm -hmm. the time. Dude, get hungry, stay hungry. Get your freaking teeth. They don't need to be white. They need to be sharp, and they need to be out. So there's three types types of opportunities that you need to focus on follow-up Yes, you do, Jared. Somebody who's who's purchased your product, accepted your deal, okay? There's somebody who came, saw, did not purchase, mm. okay? Purchased, and then didn't purchase. And then there's somebody who has expressed interest. And and we're going to be handling and, all those. And you have to have a strategy for each of those. They are all going to be different, but you have to have a plan. So we are actually going to create the plan. Jared. We are going to create a plan for you. And a strategy. And a strategy. Exact phone calls. Exact scripts. Exact scripts. Exactly what to do in every situation, whether you sold them, they weren't sold, okay? Turnkey. The strategy so that you have the heart, if you have the teeth, you have the hustle, and you have the strategy, okay? If phone, you go to Cardone, text, email, in-person, video, social media, handwritten letters, we're going to cover it all. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Anything else, Jared? Hey, we want to see your comments. What'd you take away from the show? What'd you get out of the show? What did you try? What do you have questions about? Okay, comment. In fact, you know, you want to grab a, just a handful of comments and then we'll yeah, blow sure, out of here. Yeah, sure, sure. From just, the last show? Sure. Uh, let's see. Are you already there? You're not ready? You're not even prepared. You're worse Dude, than my was, damn wife. I was on Twitter, man. You, yeah, okay. I, was, I, was, I was going for live engagement, not engagement from last week. Come on, man. Okay, but you know. All right. Let's see here. Young Hustlers last week. Oh, my God, man. Dead time is not good on a radio show. I I agree, man. I agree with you. Uh, Jeremy Clay, we're the most educated generation, but facing the most problems moving forward. My husband and I are in sales. We made 45,000 in 30 days in Anchorage, Alaska. We are so not bright with money. Awesome show. Investing in your products. Hmm. 
great, great show. Question for you. Have all your books. Would like to know what other books uh, you have other than yours. Oh, man, I got I got books. Let me tell you some of the books. Who is this asking? Uh, this was for Anthony L. Six Anthony days ago. L. Thanks for, thanks for asking that question. Freedom is the main and unique goal. Grant, show me some love on tomorrow's show by sending regards. Sincerely a true follower. That's Alejandro Gonzalez. All right, I got good to great here. I got Shut Up, Stop Whining, and Get a Life. Liberty. Power of Words by Sean Cloudon. The importance of understanding words. I got Joel Osteen, Become a Better You. I got The Future of Your Company Depends on It. I got Outliers, which is being challenged right now. Who Moved My Cheese? Uh, the Controversial Dianetics. Uh, let's see what else Zig I got. Ziglar. I got some Ziggy Zig in here. I got The New Rules of Marketing and PR. The Case for Christ. Dude, I read, baby. I read. read Learning is earning. Read or bleed. That's what I say. What else you got? Uh, man, that's it, man. Thanks for- That's not thanks. it. That's not it. What, what I want some other comments. I'm, I'm reading. I read them all off. You did not. Damn, $11. You're such a liar, Jared. $11 barber haircuts. Who's Accent 77? Show me that, barber. I'm getting jacked. Uh, thanks, Grant and Jared. Went from 53000 to 150 this year. Got my focus and my hustle muscle on, right? Whatever it takes. 10X. Mm. David Chang. Okay. Folks, every week we come to you young hustlers- for you guys out there, guys and gals that want to get your hustle on, make a comment, hit like, subscribe to the channel. Also, go to GrantCardoneSuccess.com, GrantCardoneSuccess.com, and you can get these strategies each week delivered to your mailbox. This week, you're going to get delivered to you some things that are rattling around in your head that might be keeping you from your money. Mm-hmm. Thanks a lot. Have a great week. I ask you this. What would it be worth for you to learn everything there is to know about growing your business? Cardone University was created for entrepreneurs that want to 10x their business. It was created for you so you could have me available to you from any phone, any pad or tablet, or any computer. If you can imagine the business strategy or a business opportunity you need a solution to, I have the answers here. Fortune 500 companies around the world pay up to a half a million dollars for this same information that I want to provide to you now. Look, if you want to 10X your income, I want to help you. If you want to become a multimillionaire, I want to help you. If you want to become a billionaire, I want to help you. It's not enough to just want it. You need information. I want to be your personal business coach. You can have access to me 24-7 from any device. Sign up now and let's go get yours.